You're watching DIY Man, where today we're building a kitchen island that's six feet long and three feet wide. The base is six by two and the counter height is 36 inches. This is a really easy to follow project that'll look great in your kitchen. Be sure to check out the description below for the material list. Let's start by cutting up some two by fours. We'll need two that are 70 and a half inches and we'll need four that are 19 and a half inches. Attach the four shorter boards in between the two longer boards with a few nails. Just make sure they're evenly spaced. Once that's complete, I'll cut out a piece of half inch plywood that's 70 and a half inches long and 22 and a half inches wide. Let's attach this to our base with some wood glue and a small nail gun. I hit mine with a little bit of sandpaper before moving on. Let's cut out some one by twos. Cut four at 19 and a half inches, four at 29 and a half inches, eight at 35 inches, and four at 69 inches. We want to put two pocket holes on each side of all of these except for the 35 inch boards. Once you've done that, you'll be ready to put these together. We'll start by assembling the long sides first. First, we'll attach those long 1x2s to those 35 inch 1x2s. The top 1x2 will be flush with the top of the 35 inch board. For the bottom board, you'll want the top of that to be 4 inches from the bottom of the 35 inch board. Now attach two of those 29 and a half inch boards, evenly spaced on the long ones. The gaps on those should be 22 inches. These pieces are exactly the same for the front and the back. For the end pieces, the 19 and a half inch 1x2s will make up the top and bottom. We'll use the last four 35 inch boards for the sides. Once again, the top of the bottom board is four inches from the bottom. Let's attach these to our base with some wood glue and a nail gun. Be sure to also attach the sides and the edges. This completes the basic frame for the island. Let's throw on some plywood. Before I cut those out, am I the only one that sees a monkey face here? Sorry, I'm getting distracted. Let's cut out a piece of half inch plywood that's 69 and a half inches long and 31 inches wide. We also need two that are 31 inches long and 22 and a half inches wide. Start by attaching those smaller pieces of plywood to the inside edges of your island. Once again, nail gun and wood glue. Then we'll attach that bigger piece from the inside on the back. Up to this point, the front and back are identical. You get to decide which side you want to be which. Once that's done, I'll take my quarter inch birch utility panel and cut it up into six inch strips. I really recommend getting a little bit of help to do this. Once you cut those out, you'll want to cut them up into 22 and 19 and a half inch pieces. I needed 15 at 22 inches and 10 at 19 and a half inches. I attached these directly to the half inch plywood using some really short finishing nails and a little bit of wood glue. There's about an eighth inch gap between each one of these. To be honest, I wouldn't even measure an eighth of an inch, I would just eyeball it. Because of that, you may need to make your bottom piece a little bit more narrow than six inches. My bottom pieces all ended up being about four and a half inches. I'm doing this to give this island a shiplap look. This is way cheaper than real shiplap. I'm sure this shiplap method would work on all kinds of different projects. We're making some good progress on this, guys. Next, we need to either buy or build four 10-inch corbels. If you want a little bit more detail on how to build one of these, I'll throw a link in the description for you. I attach these flush with the top of the island on all four of the back 1x2s. This probably isn't necessary, but I also use pocket holes in addition to a nail gun and wood glue to attach my corbels. One thing that is really important though is to have your wood grain run parallel with the ground. That just gives it a lot more strength. 
Let's make a shelf for the inside of our island. We need to cut a piece of half inch plywood that's 69 and a half inches long and 16 and a quarter inches wide. We also need another one by two cut. This one will need to be cut to 69 and a half inches. Nail and glue that one by two to the front of that piece of plywood. I recommend attaching this shelf about 18 inches up from the bottom piece of plywood. Cut two more 2x4s to 22 inches long. I'm going to attach these at the top to give myself something to attach the butcher block to. With my 1x2 scraps, I also attach these pieces in the four corners. Now we'll measure out the bottom of our island for a little bit of trim. I really recommend you taking your own measurements for tight fitting trim but my boards were about 72 inches and 24 inches. I needed two of each. Make sure you fill in any nail holes you might have and sand out any blemishes. I also pre-drilled a few holes in my bracing so I can attach my butcher blocks more easily later on. Now just set your island in place and paint it how you want it. Once it's painted, simply attach your trim with a nail gun. Now we'll attach our butcher block for the top. I got this one at Lowe's. I just used some 2 inch screws to attach it from the bottom. For my corbels, I attached those using a small nail gun. But you could also use screws if you want. Now our kitchen island's finished. I will say for an island this size, a good chair height is about 24 inches. Maybe we'll build one of those in the future, but you won't ever know if you don't subscribe to my channel. Be sure and do that and check out some of the other great builds I already have on there. Thanks again for joining me and keep hitting that I believe button.